Today's paper is Big Bird, Transformers for Longer Sequences. The paper is quite lengthy. It contains lots of contents like theorem, proofs, and experiments. This review is made just to provide a brief overview of the idea proposed in the paper. The method uses sparse attention mechanism to reduce quadratic complexity of transformer-based models to linear complexity. Proposed architecture is a universal approximator of sequence and it's Turing complete. It's able to handle sequences of length up to 8 times of what was previously possible using a similar hardware. In Big Bird, generalized attention mechanism is described by a directed graph. To simplify the description of the method, authors use adjacency matrix of the graph. The figure shows different adjacency matrix presented in the paper. The matrix is of size n by n, where n denotes the number of input tokens. If the curry element in row i attends to the key element in column j, element at ij takes a value of 1. If adjacency matrix is 1's matrix, it can be seen as a full quadratic attention mechanism in BERT where all tokens attend to all other input tokens. Given the adjacency matrix, the problem of reducing the quadratic complexity of self-attention is now seen as a graph sparsification problem. Generation of first sparse random attention matrix shown in figure A comes from the idea that sparse random graph can capture complete graph spectrality. As shown in the figure, each row curry attends over a random number of keys. The use of window attention comes from the idea that most contexts within NLP and computational biology have data which displays a great deal of locality of reference, meaning inner products of each token with its neighboring tokens are very important. To capture this local structure, each row query attends to its neighbors, resulting to a window attention matrix shown in figure B. In this example, number of window, also can be understood as a number of neighbors, is set to 3. Lastly, the use of global attention matrix comes from the idea of utilizing global tokens that attend to all tokens in the sequence. In the paper, the use of global token is defined in two ways. Big Bird Internal Transformation Construction, also called as Big Bird ITC. In this case, existing tokens in the input are made global to attend to all other tokens in the sequence. And Big Bird External Transformer Construction, also called as Big Bird ETC. In this case, a number of new global tokens are added to the sequence to attend to the existing tokens. In the paper, authors demonstrate that it's challenging to create contextual mapping only with sparse attention mechanism because each query attends only to few number of keys, making it unclear if sufficient information can be gathered together to make a contextual embedding of the entire matrix. To solve this problem, authors develop a sparse shift operator which shifts the entries of the matrices if they lie in a certain range and uses global token to apply the operator to a set of chosen ranges, letting each column contain a unique mapping of the full mapping. For further details and proof of each proposal, I suggest reading the paper in detail. As a result, the final attention mechanism of Big Bird in figure D has all three of the discussed properties. Queries attend to R random keys, each query attends to neighboring tokens located to the left and right of its location, and they contain G global tokens. Table shows building block comparisons of MLM, Squad, and MNLI dataset. BERT model is used as a baseline, and as shown in the table, using only random or window attention block fails to achieve competitive results but adding global attention block pulls up the performance of the model. 
The top table shows Q&A dev results using base size models, and the bottom table shows fine-tuning results on test set for Q&A tasks. As shown in the table, Big Bird ETC achieves new state-of-the-art performance on natural questions long answer, trivia QA verified, and wiki hop. Lastly, this table shows summarization of F1 scores on long documents. The large model called Big Bird Pegasus achieves top performance on all long document datasets. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today and I'll see you next time with a new paper.